Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video guys, if you have a Porsche Cayenne guys, any generation, any engine and you need to know if your VVT solenoid is bad or how to clean VVT solenoid, stay with us, we will cover that today, everything from start to finish guys, we will explain how you can actually, if you, have, if you think you have a bad solenoid, you can save them, doesn't matter if you have a 6, 8 cylinder gasoline diesel engine, it will work on all of them, before we start, let me tell you guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, any we will be using or new VVT variable timing solenoid we will share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check it out guys our mission is to save you as much money as we can now uh, another thing guys uh, if you guys have a Porsche Cayenne okay or every vehicle that we get at the shop we try to make two to three hundred videos guys again because we try to save you as much money as we can guys so let me show you what a VVT solenoid is where it's located what they look like usually guys this is it what it does it has different canals that lets the uh, the uh, engine oil flows through different holes so it can actually advance or retard the timing you may have um, okay you may have one VVT solenoid per cylinder head or you may have two of them depending on how new and how complicated your engine is for instance this engine has the advanced timing only on the intake manifold you can see on the uh, on the intake camshaft excuse me this is the variable timing gear right here this is non-variable timing gear the VVT solenoid is right here in many cases you have to remove the valve cover to get to the VVT solenoid not all of them but very often in some cases you can simply remove the VVT solenoid without removing the valve cover but now guys the number one reason for getting a code that relates to VVT solenoid okay it's dirty sticking solenoid because okay you will have guys quite a bit of uh, carbon build up sometimes in the engine this engine has 187,000 miles and uh, that carbon build up and if you don't change your oil often enough okay you can develop guys sticking solenoid that sticking solenoid actually guys uh, that sticking solenoid can practically guys uh, give you uh, give you the symptoms of a bad solenoid when actually all you have to do is clean it how you test it you have two terminals on the back positive and negative check it out okay it doesn't matter which one it is you can reverse them and it still works if you get a 9 volt battery you click on the battery with the, the wires and check it out listen now okay let's reverse the wires we will show you guys that it still works it's very important guys not to touch the two wires together where they go to the solenoid okay because if you do it will quit you will burn it and it's done you will need to replace it so here you have to be extremely careful using the alligator clips that makes our life a little bit less stressful now if the solenoid is opening and closing most likely it's a good solenoid it could be sticking though so get a throttle body or intake cleaner or i will even recommend mass airflow cleaner because if it's safe for mass airflow sensor it's actually safe for the vvt solenoid too guys what do you need to do at that point okay okay we're going to spray and we're going to circulate open and close with the battery so it can clean on the inside listen now okay we need to go ahead okay get the spray okay because it's almost empty guys we're almost running out okay check out all the stuff leaking out now you need to clean it really good guys okay open close you can see what's coming out right okay that's bad dirty oil deposits coming out of there the knock will increase it will open and close better after that you can see the engine oil didn't look so clean so dirty on the solenoid because we did an oil change but on the inside that solenoid is terrible guys okay it's terrible so we need to do that open and close okay do that for probably about guys okay i would say 30 seconds turn it around clean it again do it and after that guys okay you can even remove okay the uh, you can see if you have um, one like that okay right here uh, this one just attaches you can uh, go ahead guys okay at that point and you can clean that fume as well okay right here that mesh make sure that it's good as well and uh, after that okay it is good to get a little bit of engine oil and re-lubricate it so i want to show you okay let me focus quick listen now even the spring you can hear it so once once we clean it guys everything sounds really good we'll get engine oil to lubricate it and we'll continue so after you wash it guys okay get a little bit of engine oil leaky moly green oil it's amazing just add a little bit open and close okay to make sure it goes good 
Okay, lubricated really good. What I would even recommend, submerge it in engine oil. You can get a little cup, put it in, circulate it a few times. That way it can clean good. Okay, and you can continue guys. Okay, with the next step you can see this engine oil is practically green guys. Amazing, amazing stuff. So, hopefully the video will be helpful. I'll put the link to everything we use. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.